Well, the world just saw the photo op that it's been waiting for of President Trump and Vladimir Putin meeting together in the uh, presidential palace here in Helsinki. We saw that handshake uh, and some of the body language has already been intensely scrutinized around the world between the two men. Uh, the president of the United States putting uh, sort of the best spin on the relationship and what he hopes to get out of this and listing some of the topics that he expected that the two men would discuss. Here's what the president had to say just a little while ago. I think we have great opportunities together as uh, two countries that, frankly, uh, we have not been getting along very well for the last number of years. I've been here not too long, but it's getting close to two years. But I think we will end up having an extraordinary relationship, I hope so. I've been saying, and I'm sure you've heard over the years, and as I campaigned, that getting along with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. So the president there deciding not to mention poisoning of people in uh, Britain or hacking of election materials in the United States in his opening uh, comments there with the President Putin right by his side. The president opening uh, with listing a few topics, including China, he said that they would discuss, and also nuclear weapons. And I can tell you guys, they're about an hour into what we are told would be about a 90-minute session here in Helsinki. The two men are accompanied, we are told, only by uh, translators, no note-takers or aides of any kind. And one of the reporters in the room reported to us that uh, President Putin appeared to have a notebook and pencil on his side of the desk. Uh, President Trump didn't appear to be going in with any note-taking materials at all. So we will get, likely, a readout from this meeting, but uh, it'll just be what the president tells his aides was discussed in that meeting because there will be nobody else from the White House uh, in the room with the president of the United States. We're also monitoring some protests here. You might be able to hear behind me. We're in Senate Square, just a couple blocks away from the presidential palace, and we've seen pro and anti-Trump protesters here confronting each other. Everybody, for the most part, uh, well behaved, although some of the folks here have been shouting insults at each other through the megaphones. So we'll we'll monitor that as well. Some tensions and a lot of global attention here in Helsinki to what's going on behind closed doors just a couple of blocks from where we're standing. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.